Hello, how you doing? I'm back again, a little bit sooner than I'd expected, but I had a um, I had a little thought. I thought people might find interesting, something I could do. And I thought perhaps I could do like a little, what would you call it, like a little vlog style videos over the next couple of weeks, just showing the progress of my conches and my nose, just see how much it, um, I just thought that the overall healing process to see show how it goes just for the first couple of weeks. I thought maybe I'll do just sort of two or three videos over the next couple of weeks just to show you settle, settle them down. Just just really just for anyone who anyone who's actually thinking about stretching their conscious themselves or or just anyone just generally interested. Thought someone out there might find this useful or interesting. So um Yeah, it's it's currently a bit dark and I don't particularly like shooting videos in the dark just because this camera doesn't do particularly well in the dark, it struggles a little bit. But I'm going to try and keep this around to be short anyway. <clears throat> but yeah, so I uploaded the other video today, as recording this, but I actually ended up stretching them last night. I just couldn't be bothered to edit the two little bits at the end together last night before I, before going to bed or whatnot, so I just waited today to do that. But yeah, so... As of now, it's actually been about 24 hours since stretching them. I did. I did decide to stretch both of them in one go in the end. I sort of weighed it up. I sort of was, I was trying to decide, should I just do one side so, I, so it's a bit easier to sleep at night? Or should I just get them both over and done with in one go? Because then it's done then, isn't it? Right, so, so I decided to go with the second option. And um, part of the reason actually, when I put, this was the one I stretched first got it all nice and looped up and it went in so comfortably it was the easiest physical stretch I've ever actually done of a conch piercing <laughs> I don't quite know why but it, yeah it went really really easily and I thought oh you know what maybe this is actually going to be a little bit easier I stretched that one and it was it didn't hurt it certainly didn't hurt to begin with but it was a lot tighter it was a lot more effort to actually get the jewelry in why this one was so loose I don't really know but yeah, that's, that's just the way it goes sometimes, I guess. But yeah, so... Yeah, it's now been... Like I say, pretty much about 24 hours now since actually stretching them. And... They weren't too bad yesterday, they were uncomfortable. But... As is usually the case, since then the actual cartilage has swollen up quite a bit around both ears. You can see it better on this ear. You can see it's very, very red and puffy and it they ache like pretty much all the time they ache and then if I actually do touch them or jab them at all they're sort of quite a fiery sharp pain <laughs> for lack of a better word and it's, it's pretty unpleasant really but this is something that always happens every time the con stretch it's it's something you can't really avoid and that's because because of what it is it's hard cartilage it's not like, obviously something like an earlobe, it's just skin, it's designed to bend and flex and move. Whereas when you're stretching something like an inner conch or any sort of hard cartilage piercing, when you're trying to modify hard cartilage, the whole point of hard cartilage is that it doesn't move, it retains its shape. So it's never going to be happy when you, when you try to stretch it and alter its shape like this. So it's pretty much unavoidable. So yeah, right now it's it's really really quite tender, um, and um, the thing is, it's not just right around the piercing that it actually hurts. It's it it makes your entire ear hurt. It's not quite so bad at the top here, but all all the way out here, all where it's nice and red and swollen, is all really tender. And on top of that, my earlobes. I don't know how well you can tell in this video, but my earlobes and cells always swell up as well. That's part of the reason I've actually left them out. Because the habit I've gotten into whenever I do to stretch my conches is to actually um, actually take my earlobes out. Because even just if I pull on them ever so slightly, it doesn't hurt too bad just doing that. But even that, it, it, it aggravates them and they're not happy even just at that. So as you can imagine, with a big old bit of wood flapping about, flapping backwards and forwards, it makes them quite, 
uncomfortable and just leaving them out for the first week or so after stretching after stretching something like a conch it helps keep the pressure off the fresh stretch it makes it so much more bearable that's um, something I've had to learn the hard way and it's something I'll probably always do from here on forwards every time I do stretch like a cartilage pit thing like that but yeah so that's pretty much about it for now I think that's okay, so literally just 24 hours on since the original stretch. I'll probably upload this video tomorrow. And over the next over the next two or three weeks, I'll um I'll just upload sort of, I don't know, every three or four days a quick little two or three minute video just to show the progress. Just to show what you might expect if you're thinking of actually um doing this yourself or or if you're just curious or whatever. I thought just thought someone might find it helpful, who knows? So yeah, anyway. That'll do for now. It's six minutes already, longer than I thought I'd be talking. But yeah, I'll um try to think when I'll next. Let's say it's Wednesday now. Is it Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday now. I will do maybe Friday morning. Or or possibly Saturday morning. Just after a little bit longer, just so you can see the progress it's making. And um yeah. So yeah, I guess. See you in a couple of days. Bye.